How can I help? Then I suggest... Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. It is strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manan is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Public people are so pathetic, sitting around groveling at the table scraps that the Galactic Senators deign to give you. It makes me sick. The Senators work for the good of the whole galaxy, not for individual gain. Ha! Don't make me laugh, you gutless simp. It's the destiny of weak-minded fools like you to be ruled over by the strong, like we Sith. I'm warning you. Don't push me or you'll get just what you're asking for. Try it. Just try it. I'd love to see you throw the first punch. And with all the cameras around, the Selkath would be all over you inside of 30 seconds. You break their laws. You pay the price, Republic scum. But I can see that you're not man enough to back up your words anyway. If you ever feel like relieving yourself of your worthless existence, feel free to come by our enclave here. We have many, many ways to fulfill your wish. <sighs> yeah, what are you... Oh, I apologize, Master Jedi. I should not have been rude. Well, of course, I'm always willing to help a Jedi. What do you require? A star map? Like an ancient artifact or something? No, I'm sorry, I've never heard of it. Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, these damn Sith are everywhere on Manan, pushing us Republic citizens around, trying to goad us into breaking the law somewhere. Yeah, the Selkath want to maintain their neutrality in this war we're fighting with the Sith, and they enforce it very strictly. So, we just have to sit here and let the Sith insult us, and we can't raise a hand against them. Otherwise, the Republic will face severe Kolto export restrictions. And that could lose us the war altogether. <laughs> You're joking, right? I'm sorry, but everyone knows what Colto is. 
It's the most powerful healing agent in the galaxy. I would have died several times myself if we didn't have this stuff handy. But the reason it's important here is that Colto is only found naturally on Manan, and all of our attempts to synthesize it have failed miserably. So, we sit here on the surface, the Selkath harvesting what Colto bubbles up from the bottom of the ocean, and we buy it from them. Well, us and the Sith, of course. The Selkath don't want to play favorites. Of course. If you have any other questions, you should probably see Roland Wan. He's the Republic diplomat here. He's by the Republic Enclave, near the visitor residences. Oh, if you don't know where that is, go north from here, then south past the port official in the first courtyard, east into the second courtyard, then north, then east again. You got that? Have a pleasant stay, Master Jedi. How can I help? Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Talravan, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They can lead to outbursts of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms with all of my family, but I do remember missing my father terribly for a long time. Very close. I was only a little girl when I left my family, but I still remember him fondly. He was kind and gentle and doted on me. My mother, however, was different. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. She pushed my father into treasure hunting. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She whittled away my father's entire fortune, and I hated her for it. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi, but my father was heartbroken. A child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once they're removed. Once I was older, I realized the wisdom of this policy. A Jedi must do what is needed, personal desires notwithstanding. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. Even a Jedi cannot always control the feelings of the heart. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. Oh, 
I was told that you're a friend of Jolie Bindo, and that Jolie has returned to the sector. Please, I must speak to him. It's very urgent. My name is Elora. My husband, Sunri, and Jolie are old friends. Now Sunri needs Jolie's help. Please, I beg you to bring Jolie to speak to me about my husband. Sunri's life depends on it. I didn't. Nobody knew where you were, not even Sunri. But I heard the Selkath mention you and your friends. The Force has brought you to help us. Why? Whatever could be the matter, my dear? Oh, it's horrible, Jolie. Sunri has been arrested. The Sith have accused him of murder. Murder? But how? It's all a mistake, Jolie. Sunri isn't a murderer. Someone is trying to frame him. Calm down, Elora. We're Sunri now. Sunri's being held at the Selkath courts. They won't let anyone in to see him. Please, go to the courts. Talk to the judges. Maybe the Selkath will listen to you. Don't worry, Alora. We'll get to the bottom of this and help Sunri, somehow. Yes? The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. 
Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. <laughs> They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. Jolie, what are you doing here? Alora sent me, Summary. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Alasa there that night, but... It's not what you think. I, uh... I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. 
But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Would I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Cellcath already did that, but the fish folk don't have much rapport with offworlders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith Embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Go ahead, ask. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the Warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. So, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure I'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Still, if this Selkath has concerns, we could look into it for him. Be careful here, kid. Start poking your nose in a place it doesn't belong, and you might not like what you find. Then steal a dusty stone your stairs. Oh, my God. 
precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds, now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. When the Sith descend on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. is for Sith only. You gotta pay a 20 credit toll to walk down this street. Hiding behind the Selkath laws. Typical Republic cowards. Something on your mind, do you? What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Sunry for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer, uh, mm -mm. I can't see it. That's not the Sunry I knew. He was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. So I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. Or you can be a young monkey lizard and ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. You're the one defending Sunri now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunri comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunri running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. What do you want to know? There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glupor. Seems like a really dirty, shifty type. Normally, I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big in some circles. Don't know anything about him other than that. Anything else you want to know? 
Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. Well, okay. Tong <laughs> Tong abang sun cham lu pertang hit wama ji serkat ad inko tune tong king ba no lu per picha ge borang turang lu per wangki yu mabat mal yau no wish lu per no una pang pa kun muli ras limo po tong abang sun cham lu per ni non kili Luper Chiwa at Aita Kang Ki Cha Na Selkat. Luper Luper Sha. Luper Pampa Ki Muli Ra Kun King. Tong Yi Selkat Wama Ji Kun Na. Luper Ag Inko Tune. Luper Cha Chopa. Luper Bagwa Shang Kanti Machid Um. Luper Nada Chawa Yi Shun Kun. You with the Selkath? You here to see me about I told the damn fish everything I need? Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Oh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. One hundred credit. Thanks. I was in my room. Being still alive and therefore smart enough not to stick my head out immediately. You can't tell me that someone who was running like that, and he was pretty fast for a cripple, isn't guilty. Sunri, I only have kept the rest of the... I'm not saying anything. And there isn't any room. Oh. I didn't see anything, and there's no... Thanks. Yes, well... Investigating the Sunri murder trial, are you not? This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. Let us just say that I'm an interested party, and that I have <laughs> concerns. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Mm, dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. 
they both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, 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 of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be hmm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. <laughs>